Right, okay, so we're going to be making some uh, surfing, well, some surfing blocks, uh, a surfing map if you like, for CSS on Source SDK Hammer. I've got a basic starting point, I've got the skybox, I've got the main platform for a terrorist spawn point, uh, and some terrorist spawn points themselves. So what we're going to do is just grab the uh, block tool, uh, Shift and B, just draw literally just a, a block of any size if you want, it's just going to be rough for me, um, so any size you want, um, I'd say the height for this one here is about right, um, you don't want it too steep, but you you know, you don't want it really small that they can't surf on it kind of thing, so always make sure that you give them enough room, um, otherwise no one's going to want to play on your map. Okay, now just uh, choose, yeah, whatever texture you want, hit enter to make that block there, just like you would anything else, and there we go, just a random block. Now what we're going to do is now just uh, select that, and down here you've got the clipping tool. Um, click on that, it's just the second one from the bottom, where it's shift and X is the shortcut. Uh, wrong thing, there we go. Um, and what we're going to do here is, you drag as you can see I've done here from the bottom left up to the top in the middle and that literally just carves that like that um, so there you go, you got one side of the ramp already you might only want one side of the ramp but obviously a lot of ramps are double sided um, so the way you do this is just select this clipping tool again uh, I'd like to just quickly apologise for that tapping noise you can hear. That's my uh, uh, laptop keyboard uh, when I'm moving around. So I do apologise for that, but I'll see if I can sort that out some other time. Um, back to this, then the other side of the ramp. Drag from the bottom of the um, bottom right, uh, and literally just drag upwards. Make sure that it's exactly in the centre, and hit enter. There we go. That is a double-sided ramp that you just made. Um, or surfing on. And the only problem with this is it's currently level, so I mean you're gonna jump on players are gonna jump on that and just they got no speed whatsoever. So what we want to do now is just tilt that down. And the way we wouldn't do this is if we just first stretch that out so they can get a lot of speed off of it as soon as they jump down on it. I'm just gonna stretch it out to there. Really quite long. Um you can add more obviously as you go but just down on this uh, side view uh just select it select it again so that you've got the corners go like this you just drag a corner and direct, drag it downwards uh, and then that literally just tilts the whole thing so then come back over here align the corners up um, you might even want to put it underneath it so that you have no problems with uh, materials clashing into other materials um, then your players can just literally jump off the edge here and slide straight down. Um, I mean you can also then easily just for a quick example if we go down here uh, put a block here you know you, you then got another layer um, where there's going to be hidden things or whatever you want kind of thing. Um, um, so I mean then just to make another one we're going to leave this one orange we're just going to draw literally, I mean, if you wanted a rounded bit, you can drag over here, drag that down there. Now the rounded bits might seem a bit more difficult, um, literally because it takes longer and it's, you know, some people don't have the patience for it. Um, so what we're going to do is, literally, if I just move that, we're going to ignore the other side for the time being, but we're just going to make one this side. So hit enter with that, and we're going to watch me fail to carve this the right way. What one would it be? I'm just going to drag up to there, and hit enter, and yeah, no, I did carve it the wrong way, but I'm just going to cheat and flip that over. 
So now we've got that. That one there. Now that one's obviously he's not going round. As soon as you go onto this, you're going to hit to that as well. So obviously it does take a lot more time just to make sure that there's no bugs or, or anything in it. Um, I usually just drag it up a little bit just to be sure that they're not going to slide down here and end up hitting into this more than anything. So it all looks smoothed out. Looks fine. Now what we're going to do is just copy and paste that. We've got one there. And just paste that right next to it. Uh, so now we just want to select this again. And now, if I can get this rotated the right way. It's going to rotate it, so click on it again. And rotate that round. And I'm just going to drag that through. And then deselect it just to check it's all smooth. And it does look to be smooth. And there we go, just going to copy and paste it yet again. Rotate it round. You don't want to rotate it too much because you're going to have a problem where players just can't seem to control it. So, I mean, always just check that you've not rotated it too much. Um, this one could well be, but I mean, if, you, if you've got the uh, reflexes for it, then you're going to be fine. It's always good to rotate it quite a lot as well because it does then make it harder. And a lot of players get addicted to surfing maps so okay I do uh, chat on a little bit don't I right okay so I mean you literally just keep con continuing doing that um, you can cheat but it does actually if you do it this way sometimes make it harder to align everything up properly Sometimes it doesn't, sometimes you can, you know, have problems, more problems than you would. Right, as I say, just make sure that the corners line up properly. If I can select them all, just align that up at the top. Um, I, I mean, I've got, obviously, because this is rough, I've got a problem where some of them uh, are not lined up properly at the top so I always check that as well um, but I'm not too worried about that at the moment I'm just as you can see from that right there it's really quite rounded um, so I'm just going to go through and check I mean from this side you can see where or not there's something you know just literally just to see if there's any overlapping the wrong way like for example there you can see that one shows just a bit more now there's a few ways a few things we can do about that uh, just drag it back like that or I mean literally you, you do just drag it back but whether or not you want to drag it to the side that can hide it as well um, just a go through and check all these again this is mainly the reason it takes so long um, because you have to make sure there's no problems like that where they're going to surf around and just their player is going to hit into that and it will stop them so that's usually the main sort of thing to look out for Right, okay, so it's a rounded surf block then. What we're going to do is just continue that on, copy, paste that, rotate it round. Uh, okay, and then let's have a look what have we got that doing down there. So, I mean. Just put that over there. And rotate it around.
Right, okay, so I mean obviously as I say it's not going to be perfect, but you can leave things like that for a jump off where they jump, you know, they end up jumping off the ramp. Um, because it is cut differently as well, I will have to cut it just to make sure that doesn't affect anything. But other than that, it seems to be okay. As I said, I'll just come down on that one then, and uh, just straight down there. And that is the starting point of a uh, what could be a good surfing map.